we will be discussing on controlling variables. They are potentially confounding variables that we need to account for but that do not drive our theory. For an example, the theory was such that TV time had a negative effect on school performance. But there are many things that could affect school performance possibly even more than the amount of TV time. So, in order to account for these other potentially confounding variables, researchers control for them. They are basically saying that regardless of these controlling variables, increase in TV time still significantly decreases school performance. As a cautionary note, should nearly always include some controls. However, these control variables still count against the sample size calculations. So the more controls you have, the higher your sample size needs to be. Also, you get a higher R square, but with increasingly smaller gains for each added control. Sometimes you may even find that adding a control drowns out all the effects of the independent variables. In such a case, you may need to run tests without that control variable, but then you can only say that your independent variables, though significant, only account for a small amount of the variance in the dependent variable. With that in mind, you can't and shouldn't control for everything. And as always, decision to include or exclude controls should be based on theory. Now we'll be moving on to handling controls in MOS. Simply treat them like the other independent variables and have them regress on whichever variables that have arrows into them that may logically affect. In this case, you can see that trust in agent and trust in company are acting as independent variables, whereas loyalty for repeat will act as a control for loyalty for long term and value for short term will act as a control for value for long term. We have to co-vary the controls as well as those with the independent variables. Co-varied the controls with each other and with the other exogenous variables. When using controls in a moderated mediation analysis, go ahead and put the controls in at the very beginning. Co-varying control variables with the other exogenous variables can be done based on theory rather than as default. However, there are different schools of thought. Downside of covering with all the exogenous variables is that you gain no degrees of freedom. If you are in a need of degrees of freedom, then try removing the non-significant covariances with controls. When reporting the model, need to include the controls in all the tests and output, but should consolidate them at the bottom where they can be out of the way. Also, should not test for any mediation between a control and a dependent variable. However, may report how the control affects a dependent variable differently based on a moderating variable. For an example, in this diagram, Value short may have a stronger effect on value long for males than the females. This is something that should be reported but not necessarily focused on as it is not likely a key part of the theory. Lastly, even if effects on controls are not significant, do not need to trim them from the model. Although there are also the other schools of thought. 
with that we will be concluding thanks for watching